Hello and welcome to How to Lose Cosmic Crucible. I am Dogbert and we are starting off on Catbird again today and as predicted we did lose uh, that big insane TCP punch up but surprisingly it was a lot closer than I thought it was. It was like uh, 8 points. It was really surprising. But today we have, I don't even know, Carmen Die. We look at the, you can see King Gronk had 773. I had 765. It was eight point difference. Carmen Die, who I'm going against today, is a 17 million versus my 14 point, 14 and a half, 14 point six. Look like that in Catbert. As we take a look at this defense, we're seeing the uh, uncanny X Men, the symbiotes, Marauders with Madeline Pryor. This is going to be the big problem. The Dark Hold got my Dark Hold on defense. Uh, that might be a room we can't clear. It might just come down to, can he clear the dark, my dark hold or not? We'll have to wait and see. We got the Wakandans and we got uh, Heroes for Hire. So we're just going to go right after the Marauders first. We're just going to throw the uh, Secret Avengers Kestrel at them. And I think this time we will use Nick Fury as soon as I find him. There he is. Let's get the rest of them out. As I go through this list, slowly. So, not really sure what I'm going to be doing about that dark old if I'm, I might not even try. I probably will try to throw stuff at it. See if I, what I have left. But, uh, first party? Clear the first five rooms. So we can get some speed going here. I like this how my Kestrel is just able to just uh, to obliterate my own Nick Fury. A mystique always seems to go after Nick Fury. He must, he must be hard coded for that or something. All right, let's uh, stun Emma here. So we uh, just make our way through here. We tried to clone a trooper. And that should take care of Sinister, yep. And now we just get a little Mystique. And we have knocked off our first room. Pretty simple, getting our credits. As we move on now, let's see what else we can go against quick. Remember there was a Condens. And uh, we know how to take care of them. That is Young Avengers. Clear all this out. Yes, it's room 5. Yes, I know Chavez doesn't do anything other than give us hit points. That's fine by me. Just amazing how good of a counter Young Avengers is against Wakandans. Kind of makes the investment in Wakandans almost worthless. Yes, now we get to go make our sandwiches as we wait to actually take a turn or for Icarus and Cersei to become farmable. Or maybe even, uh, let's talk about Young Avengers. When is uh, Kate and Echo becoming farmable? Granted, they're not as old as Icarus and Cersei, who are approaching one year come November. They're not farmable. Alright, uh, doing your normal thing here. 
Get stuck behind in Baku. Think about maybe how I can take out that Dark Hold. I think I'm definitely gonna have to at least two tap. If I go against that Dark Hold. Oh, here we go again with Mimbaku. Here comes some squirrels, though. Alright. Could you imagine if that if he wasn't blind? How many times have I just gotten hit? Dear Lord. Throw a squirrel at somebody. Finally. Need to get somebody killed here already. Taking forever. There we go. Hey, once we go to Shuri. That's gonna make life a lot easier. Uh, I don't need to heal. Let's take out Killmonger. Yeah, they just don't want to die today. There we go. Yeah, that ends that battle finally. More credits. What else we have left? Heels for hire, I remember. Not sure what I want to use to take out what. We have the uncanny X-Men. Too many damn X-Men teams. So it's a matter of what do I want to use? Ah, I got X-Men. Let's use them. X-Men versus X-Men. That sounds like a good plan. For them. Honey Break Punch Down shouldn't be a problem. We're going to deal with that Dark Phoenix. It's not a big magic or anything like that. Yeah, let's get our ton up. Uh, don't need to heal. Let's go after Colossus a little bit. Try to get that taunt off of him. Easier said than done. Okay, get rid of the taunt. Let's see if we can disrupt. Yes, that's going to help out. As we have triggered Dark Phoenix. Alright, let's blast star. Thank god we had that blind on her. Blasting away. Get rid of those defense downs. And you're ready to Dark Phoenix. So you take out uh, Storm and now we have some Cyclops. Yeah, Cyclops. I think about his name for a second. I get him confused with Colossus for some reason. Alright, moving on again. These loading screens are ridiculous how long they take. Symbiotes, Heroes for Hire. Dark Hold. Let's work on the symbiotes. Let's see what we have for them. Decently sized, 672. There's definitely characters I want to keep around. Infinity Watch being one of them. I do have a small black order. I don't think it would 
stand too much of a chance, though. So I'm actually going to have to use something good. Or a halfway decent. Uh, so many choices. Ooh. Uh, I think we'll just go with the basic uh, Hoodie Dildo combo and probably Death Pool. Uh, I need a fifth who's not named Hella. Oh. He'll help. Eh, I'll keep him just for in case I need something else. We'll throw Sinister in. Why not? So we're just throwing random junk in now. Got some defense up for us. Start our work on Scream. And let's see if we get some blinds out there. And get rid of Scream. Yep, almost get rid of him. I uh, don't really need to heal. And this one for the efficiency points, got the match ended. And let's see what we can throw at the Heroes for Hire now. I kind of wanted to keep Weapon X around. But I do have Infinity Watch I can keep around to help uh, with that Dark Hold. Doom I want to save. So I think we're just going to throw Weapon X at this and end it. Or I should say end them. This will be a fairly easy fight. Okay, let's knock back some turn meter. We only blocked that Shang-Chi. I remember he is the biggest. Get some bleeds out here. Go to the other side. Goodbye, Colleen. Goodbye, Misty. And apparently, goodbye, uh, Iron Fist. Oh no, they actually got a turn. That sounds so horrible. Heroes for Hire. Just a terrible Crucible defense. And now we're left with that Dark Old. So what I'm thinking is we go into with Affinity Watch to soften them up. And then I can clean up with like an Eternals team. Because I don't have Morgan available to me right now. So let's give the Affinity Watch a try. And there is some weakness here in the smaller Doctor Strange and smaller Scarlet Witch. Even knocking out either one of them will make this a little bit easier. For cleanup. Got nothing to lose. We might as well give it our three tries. All right, let's get right going with uh, Nebula there. We know we're gonna get stuck behind the Wong, so I'm just gonna go right after him. Do you have some death proofs out there? Let's go and grab some for ourselves. Uh, let's just do max damage, even though we're not gonna get an ability block. Wanna do get through that barrier as much as we can. Get rid of those debuffs. Heal up a little bit, even though we can't knock out the buffs. And 
there as we wait to take a turn. Okay, let's just do the ultimate, get offense up going. Can't stun Wong, but might get somebody else. Yeah, but we did get Scarlet Witch. Get some buffs of our own. Alright, Abedaz died the first time. We took the strange uh, ultimate. And things are slowing down now. Got too many buffs and stuff out there. So we're past the Wong taunt. Let's just keep working on Wong because we got him down pretty low. There he goes in there in Viz. Alright, so we can really just wait. Lost Nebula. Maybe we can get after Scarlet Witch here. Oh, she healed him up. We can attack her. Long's still not out of that. There he goes. He's out of the invis now. We can heal up a little bit. Go back after that Wong if we can get rid of him. Life will get a lot easier on the cleanup. Alright, right after Wong. Not quite dead yet, of course. And we got rid of Wong. That is going to be a success. I have to call that a success for this. Get some damage on the Strange. We know he's a weak link. More has yet to die her first time. <laughs> there she goes. We're getting those uh, specials and ultimates used up by Morgan. Let's go and do some max damage here. Alright. That was a pretty long fight. They lasted a lot longer than I thought they would. But we did some good damage. Got rid of Wong. Let's see if we can't clean it up. Let's throw in Rogue, Doom, Eternals, Morgan, no, no Morgan, Eternals, Doom, Rogue, Emma. Slow them down a little bit with Emma. Obviously their Morgan's going to be going first. No, no, Rogue's going first. Ooh, decisions. Let's uh, slow down Morgan. And now let's go and knock back some turn meter. Alright, we got the 200 stealth back there. Now Agatha. Let's go boom. Right of the back row. Right of Morgan. And we got this. This worked out well. It was a two tap. But we managed to get through it. Now the question is, can my opponent get through mine? And can he do it more efficiently? Obviously, if he can one-tap it, he's going to be good to go. And I am happy with this result. 49,774. Uh, I'll show my defense. 
I do have symbiotes on defense, and there's my uh, little dark hold. Zemo factor, random crap. Web warriors, hero as guardians. See if he can get through it. Let's head on over to Dogbert. All right, here we are on Dogbert. As you can see, I did take a win, a 17 point win over Hey Nick Moore. I saw, uh, let's go back and look at the results. He was able to get past my unlimited Axeman. He used Phoenix on offense, not good. He got past it with Darkhold, barely. Just Morgan, the last one standing. It'd be interesting if I had a bigger Dark, a bigger Unlimited X Men. That was only just under 600k versus a 900k Darkhold. But that's what essentially won me the fight. As today we go against, who was it? Matt? Yeah, his name is Matt. Let's take a look and see where he's at. 18,083. Just might as well be a punch across at this point. It's, I'm not much bigger. So let's see what he has. Uh, the new Dorm Unlimited Axeman. Uh, uh, yeah, Dorm Unlimited. Dorm. Unlimited Dorm? I don't know. That's a big symbiote. 952. Very small black order. He's going for the speed up here with Loki to try to speed this team up. Still looks susceptible. Oh, we got the Web Warriors. I took my Bionic Avengers off of defense because uh, I was looking for something like this. So let's go do this first because I want to have some fun. Bionic Avenger. Deflect. Uh, throw Vision, Iron Man, Hulkbuster, if. So let's have some fun. We already know I can punch down in war. I punch up in war, sorry. That was a 400 some K punch up in war I did. Got close to 500. All right, let's just get going with it. I always do that special from Deflock. Here they come. You gotta love how she just gets her debuffs cleared because of vision there, because she got ability blocked. Now she goes into hiding. And here we go. Unavoidable damage. And this part I really love. Flip all those debuffs into buffs. You've already lost. You just don't know it. Fly around. Kill him. And that is the end of the Web Warriors. Not even Room 5 can stop us. Oh, nobody's cosmic on there. It's all global characters. I believe I have my Black Order on offense now. So what do you say? We do Black Order and Black Order. Actually, I know a quicker way to find them. Yes, I do have them available. They're not very big. But the theme I'm going against is smaller. If you don't remember the Black Order versus Black Order Mirror, it's simple. Flip second. So we'll just go and try to... That's good. Means they're going to go. Alright, got rid of one already. And uh, their thing I should go first. Yep. Now ours will go, we flip second, and this will cause us to win.
Plus we already got rid of Proxima. That's really making our odds very good. Get some damage on coal there. Yep, there's his taunt. Here's our taunt. Our coal is bigger. Got the stun on him. That guy hated this. I hated this arena meta. It was so boring. Let's heal back up. Throw the moon at him. Yeah, and that coal is still alive. Let's take care of that. Surprisingly, my Corvus is still alive. Yeah, we get rid of them. Get the mic there. What do we got left now? Oh, so we gotta come up with something for that. Yes, I, I can come up with something for that. Let's take this out. We're probably gonna need the Eternals here. Ooh, I do have... Did I take Darkhold off of... Off a, okay, I did take Darkhold off a of defense, so we might have something to go against the Unlimited Torm. We might be able to use Dormhold. Okay, this. I want the Eternals. Uh, let's slow them down with Emma. And we'll speed us up with Loki as well. As soon as I find him, he's way down here. And we need a fifth. I'm thinking Black Bolt. And he's way up here, of course. Now that I think about him. There he is. I should still be plenty fast enough. Kind of help neutralize that Loki by throwing in Emma. Yep, I'm faster. Bye, Loki. And flip all of that. Yes. Oh, didn't get a kill. I got rid of Silver Surfer. Let's just go after him with that. That works. And this is going to be one high efficiency. Still have to deal with the symbiote. Still need to deal with this mess. I'm thinking uh, skill raid team. Uh, that's a raid. That's no, that is raids. So my skill raid team should be down here somewhere. Oh, that's right. I got Shang Chi on defense. So I need a fifth. And who would work well? Or do I just bring Z You know what? I'll bring Zemo in. I got Zemo. That'll help clear that taunt off a of Red Guardian. It's only a gear 13 Red Guardian, so not very big. Okay, yeah, now we can go... Uh Try ability block Doom. We got the ability block. We got to deal with their Kestrel yet. I was just going after their Doom. Hi, Red Guardian. Yeah, let's 
get ourselves some turn meter. Goodbye, Doom. Goodbye, Shang-Chi. Goodbye, Nick Fury. He's just down to their Kestrel. We can stun her. And this became very efficient. So, still have to take care of the symbiotes. And I'm thinking Weapon X will be plenty for the symbiotes. Symbiote's not very fast. Okay, clear all it all out. We'll keep Infinity Watch as a backup team to Dormold. So we'll have some, uh, I mean, yeah, backup team for Dormhold to go against that unlimited Dorm, Dorm Unlimited, I don't know. I don't know what we're calling it. Let's see how Weapon X does against Symbiotes. They do work against uh, Web Warriors. Oh, good. We can knock back that turn meter. Alright, let's just... Uh, there's actually an ability block of any Venom. Alright, let's get some bleeds out there. And more bleeds. Goodbye, Scream. <laughs> Gotta love it when they just die like that. I really need to get rid of any venom and this match is over. Get rid of those bleeds. Goodbye, any venom. Goodbye, symbiote Spider Man. And now on to the problem. Gonna be an interesting fight. Uh, we both put unlimited X Men on. Uh, this is a baby dorm. We both have our unlimited on defense. Everybody else is gear 16 already. Definitely gonna be seeing more of these as people uh, panic and act like they're getting apocalypse next patch. You're not. Yeah, I need Agatha. Actually, no, I don't need Agatha there. Let's put Morgan there. Keep Agatha on the end. Probably not going to matter, though, with uh, Gambit. So we are punching down, but we know when it comes to Cosmic Crucible, Unlimited is definitely the team. Mostly because of Rogue and Gambit. And she happened to pick Morgan. So let's just start clearing off those evades. Let's just clear off some more evades. You want to get rid of those evades, that gives them crit. Let's get the taunt up on Wong. So you just try to knock down Rogue as much as possible. I didn't bother to try to stun because Rogue has immunity. Still running Skirmisher on Morgan. I'd like to thank any content creator who is telling people to run Striker on Morgan. You have made my arena life so much easier. Gotta get rid of that evade. Just try to get to get rogue to uh, go into stealth. I guess it's probably gonna die her first time thanks to Gambit. No, she didn't die yet. I was expecting her to be dead. I want Morgan to drop too low. 
Oh, here goes Sunfire. Oh, there goes Agatha and Wong. And there goes Agatha, thanks to Dormammu. Yeah, we can get this out there at least. Definitely want to get Dormammu. If we're going to have to leave this match for a cleanup, we want him to have damage. <laughs> and we just can't not get around this rogue taunt. Alright, we finally got Agatha's ultimate. Still stuck behind Rogue. Does she still have taunt? Yeah, she still has taunt. Now we're starting to flip some buffs. She lost her safeguard. I can rewind the turn meter. Oh, we and, uh, killed Dazzler the first time. That was nice. Okay, stuck behind Rogue again. Got her under her invis now. Let's stun Gambit. Alright, uh, let's just go after Dazzler since if we kill her, she's gone. Alright, we got rid of Dazzler. That's going to make our life easier. Now Dormammu's gone. Sunfire's died his first time. We're going to leave Gambit alone. Yep, he took his turn, but he died. Got to get rid of that evade. I got rid of Sunfire. Um... Get the evade off of Gambit. Alright, Gambit's gone. We just have to take care of Rogue now. This is actually going to be a one-shot. Messy one-shot, but a one-shot. How about that? It was messy, we needed a whole lot of power, it almost took the entire match. <laughs> but we got through, uh, Unlimited Dorm? It was a baby dorm, though, so that really helped out. Otherwise, we'd be two-tapping. Oh, now the question is, can my opponent do it any more efficient? 50,169. Uh, he did not put Darkhold on defense, so he has a shot at meeting my unlimited with Darkhold. Question is, does he have enough to take out the rest of my defense? He probably does. The question is, can he do it efficient enough? We'll have to find out tomorrow. Until next time, everybody.